Hello everyone, my name is Rachel. I'm an artist living here in Rochester, Minnesota, and I'm here to share some ideas and inspiration about what you can do with this amazing art kit that you have picked up from the Rochester Art Center that is all about spring. There are so many different ideas um, that I have about things that you can do with this box, so I'm just going to share a few with you um, about some things that you can make just for you and also some things that you can make and send to a friend. So I don't know about you guys but I am always super excited if I get a card in the mail. Um, there's just something really nice about getting a little note from a friend um, or someone you know and in your kit we have some materials where you can make your own card to tell somebody happy spring um, just to say hi maybe somebody you know has a birthday coming up um, so making a card is a great way to be creative and to spread some joy so what I did is I took the white paper and um, I cut it just a little bit so it would fit inside this card. Then I used the glue stick to glue it down. Now one thing that I think of when I think of spring is um, butterflies, of course. Um, something about a little butterfly coming out of this cocoon, flying around, um, that makes me think of spring and just makes me really happy. So what's cool about butterflies is the wings, of course, and doesn't our card kind of already look like a little bit of a butterfly? <laughs> I'm going to show you a couple ways that you can make some wings on the inside. Now the first one is fun and a little bit messy. You can take some of your string and uh, cut off a little piece of that string. Okay, so you can take that piece of string and you can kind of dip it in your purple paint here. Now this one might get a little bit messy, that's why I put some paper down on this chair. So wherever you are in your house, make sure you put down a little bit of newspaper if it's not a surface that you want to be getting some paint on. Now, you can take your string and Make a little design with it on one half of the card. Maybe something like that. Now, carefully close your card and press down. When you open the card back up, you will have a cool little print that looks pretty much the same on both sides. Huh? just like a butterfly. Then you can use your brush, you can use the purple paint some more, or um, one of your other colors in your amazing spring palette. Put the body of the butterfly down the center. And then you can use your other colors to fill in some of the spaces. We've got all of these great spring colors here. We've got pink and green and yellow. I think I'm just gonna open the pink and the yellow. and add a little bit in here. And then whatever I do on one side, I'm gonna do on the other side. It doesn't have to be exactly the same, of course, but it's fun to try and make a mirror image. Oh my goodness, look at these awesome colors. And then if you want to add some little antennas, something else to the body of your butterfly, there's really no way to mess it up. Then you can put it somewhere to let it dry a little bit. Um, and then you can write a little message in the open space or on the front or on the back to tell somebody happy spring. <laughs> 